Hey guys, welcome back to my pore series. Today I wanted to tackle pores and actives. So if you saw last week's video, and I hope you did, if not, check it out, you'll have seen that we talked about preventing problematic pores in the first place. So we know they bother us, we know we'd like to influence them, but the question is, can we really? There's so many products on the market making miraculous claims about altering pore size, reducing their appearance and so forth. Can they really make a difference? Are they worth your hard-earned cash? Well, I think the right actives, when carefully chosen, can make a difference to the appearance of your pores. In truth, unless we're talking about serious matters like oral medication and procedures, which I'm gonna cover next week, really what we're trying to do is to minimize their appearance and the cosmetic impact they have on our skin. So the truth of the matter is that a pore, however large, if it's clear and unclogged in context of bright, glowy skin, really isn't going to cause too much of a distraction, except for you when you're close up with your magnifying mirror. So let's talk about the ways to keep pores clear, no heaped up skin cells, anything that would draw unnecessary attention to something that you and I are both self-conscious about. Let's get started. So when I think about pore-centric actives, the first one I think about is salicylic acid. Now, as I said before, if a pore is clogged up and there's bits of debris in there and they're just drawing the eye to the area more than they should because they attract the attention, I think the key thing here to think about is getting rid of that debris, the traffic, and the best way to do that is with a beta hydroxy acid because it's a fat soluble chemical exfoliant that also potentially has some antibacterial effects, which if you're also prone to blemishes can be really helpful. As opposed to alpha hydroxy acids, which are water soluble and therefore won't really get into that oily environment of the pore to make much of a difference to the appearance of clogging in your T-zone in particular. As always, you can use products that are leave-on for maximum benefit. And if you're using something like a salicylic acid-based gel, one to 2%, you can obviously just target your problem areas rather than using it on areas that aren't particularly affected by this problem. I also don't particularly like salicylic acid in a cleanser because I think you end up using potentially quite a drying ingredient around the eyes. So stick to targeted use where your pores are prominent. So the next ingredient I would recommend for use to help clear your pores is a retinoid. As you guys know, I'm a massive fan of retinoids for their many, many benefits in the skin, but particularly for those with problematic pores, they are a godsend for a number of reasons, actually. So firstly, because they normalize the process of exfoliation of our skin cells naturally, they tend to reduce the tendency, they tend to reduce, they tend to decrease the tendency for our pores to get clogged up in the first place. So as far as preventing the problem goes, they're really quite powerful. But in addition to that, they also help support the scaffolding structure around the pores. So as we age, they're also one of the best actives to ensure that pores are well propped up and that they maintain their structure rather than flopping open and sagging. Next ingredient of interest is Bacuchiol, which is a new plant extract with retinoid-like benefits that there is emerging clinical evidence supporting its use, both in acne-prone skin and in those looking to prevent aging. And it's been compared with both retinol and salicylic acid and found to be similarly effective, which tells us that something as good is going on within the skin whenever this ingredient is used. So I think it's a helpful thing to add in. I think the good news about it is also that it's very safe. It seems fine to use during the day as well as at night time, which gives it an edge over a retinoid. Um, and it's also safe for pregnancy. Next up is azelaic acid, one of my favorites. It's a great all-rounder, but it, importantly, it's good for helping exfoliate pores, for reducing breakouts, and it's anti-inflammatory and good for pigmentation as well. And for those of you with redness-prone sensitive skin, it tends to be well tolerated. Again, great in pregnancy as it's safe. And the last ingredient that's great for pores is niacinamide or vitamin B3, one of my skincare essentials because it boosts tolerance to retinoids. It's hydrating because it increases skin production of ceramides, but it also helps keep pores clear and skin bright. So a great all-rounder. 
So that's a comprehensive guide around the active ingredients that will serve your pores. Um, I really hope you're finding uh, the information in these videos helpful, and if so, leave me a comment and let me know. You get the pores that you're given, but in the end, if we can reduce the attention that they draw, and meanwhile make the rest of our skin bright and glowy, they don't really have to be as big a bother as sometimes you might let them think. Bye for now.